The N3 carries large volumes of traffic, with a high percentage of these being heavy vehicles, transporting freight to and from the port of Durban. The Gauteng route is the busiest freight corridor and the backbone of South Africa's freight network. Durban accounts for 40% of the country's imports exports, with more than 80% of goods being transported along this route. Sections of the road are operating at full capacity and projected growth figures indicate a need to provide additional lands to alleviate congestion, to accommodate future growth, to improve road safety and efficiency for the user. Road users are experiencing travel time delays due to congestion. Road safety is a concern due to the poor levels of service. The road pavement design life has been reached, which results in high maintenance costs and high levels of congestion due to the disruptions while undertaking repairs. Time delays are costing about 1 billion rand per year, while road closures due to accidents cost about 300,000 rand per hour. The South African National Roads Agency, better known as SANRAL, intend to upgrade the 80 km section of road between Durban and Peter Maritzburg at an estimated cost of 18 billion rand. The route has been split into a number of packages and HHO are responsible for the package from the Hammersdale interchange to the Cato Ridge interchange. The objectives of the project are to reduce congestion and travel times, to improve road safety, to provide a road facility that will last for 30 years, to minimize future road maintenance and further disruptions, as well as to stimulate the economy. The road will be widened from three lanes in each direction to a minimum of four lanes and will include a fifth lane where a climbing lane is warranted, resulting in a total road width of between eight and 10 lanes. Concrete retaining walls and safety barriers will be installed. Other safety improvements will include the installation of street lighting, the erecting of electronic variable message signboards, as well as the provision of traffic monitoring cameras. Sustainability will play a major role in the road upgrades and it is intended to reuse all of the existing road materials. The concrete and asphalt will be broken up and reused in the construction of the new road layers. Raw materials from local quarries will be used. HHO will be running these quarries and will be coordinating the reuse and supply of materials to the other packages. It is intended to batch asphalt and concrete products on site, making use of the materials from the local as well as the commercial quarries. Recovered products will also be used to supplement the materials in the batching of these products. The road upgrades will have a big impact on the economy. It is estimated that 15,000 jobs will be created. It is a requirement that 30% of the construction value be undertaken by targeted enterprises comprising of different target groups, for example, women, youth, and disabled persons. A further requirement is that 8% of the construction value is spent on targeted labor. There will also be an ongoing mentoring and training of the targeted labor force. Community development projects to the benefit of the local communities are to be undertaken by emerging contractors, and there will be various small contractor development programs. Certain of the road packages have already been tendered and it is envisaged to commence with the work before the end of the year. The upgrades are expected to take 8 to 10 years to complete. HHO are proud to be part of the N3 corridor upgrades being provided by Sanral and will give regular feedback as the works progress.